Vaccine effect effectiveness when it's in a study is the ability of the vaccine to prevent any diagnosed case of COVID. So in these studies, what they did is they looked for people who developed symptoms and then they tested them. And if you had any symptom, even if it was only the mildest of symptoms, but you tested positive, that counted as a vaccine failure. When we talk about the Pfizer or the Moderna being 95% effective, that means that the vast majority of cases occurred in people who got the placebo and only a handful of cases occurred in people who got vaccine. The other thing that was really important is that none of the severe cases occurred in people who had gotten the, the vaccine. No one was hospitalized, no one had severe COVID. When we talk about some of the newer vaccines that are coming down the, the pike and hopefully will be authorized in the, in the coming weeks or months, um, they may have overall effectiveness that's less than Pfizer and Moderna. Some of are 60%, 70%, some are closer to 90%. However, every single one of them has been 100% effective at preventing severe disease, not ending up in the hospital, not ending up dying from COVID. And that is really what's important. So it's really exciting that we're gonna have many more tools in the toolbox. They're not all gonna be the same tool, but together they really will help us to decrease the amount of COVID-19 that's in the community. And that's what's gonna get us back toward normal.